there's you know there's been some very very important lessons learned over the last few years one of the most prominent lessons that i've reflected upon is our reliance on third parties most organizations today have more data sitting outside their firewall than inside their firewall and as a result they rely on the security and the practices and the professionalism of their third parties and their suppliers to protect their information in the privacy act of australia uh, it stipulates that organisations are responsible for the data that they have. And although they may share it with a third party to deliver a service, they're still accountable for it. So one of the big lessons we've learned is the huge reliance that organisations have on third parties and the data that they provide. The second lesson for me that I've seen is the organisations that have cyber incidents occur to them are not immune. They can happen to all types of organisations. And so uh, no organisation out there should ever think that they, they can totally escape it, so they need to be ready. And that's why you need to have great investments around incident response, that ability to actually respond to an event when it occurs. And, and you should be practising those and you should have them ready so that when these events occur, the third lesson is then dealing with the incident in a, in a very transparent manner. The organisations that seem to be better through, through um, cyber breaches are those organisations that are transparent in how they respond. They communicate with their customers. They answer the customers' questions. They tell the customers what they know and what they don't know. They work with the authorities, with the police, with, the, with, the, with cyber professional companies. They listen to their advice. They work with their cyber insurance provider and are collaborative with them as well. If you take the other tack and if you're trying to hide it and you try to protect yourself because you're scared, people then don't trust you and they actually may think that the problem is potentially worse than what it really is. So by trusting and communicating, by being transparent and having those, those systems and, and, and plans in place for and being ready to respond, in my experience has been the best way and the best way in which you can prepare for a future attack.